Hello, everyone, and welcome to coverage of the 2024 Manitou Days Grand Parade in beautiful downtown White Bear Lake. I'm your one of your hosts, Joe Cullen, and today I'm joined by Frank Watson. Hi, Joe. Hi, it's great to have you here, and we're excited for this year's parade. We're already underway here with the uh, VFW Post 1782 out of White Bear Lake and the American Legion. The Sons of the Legion and the American Legion Auxiliary Honor Guards, the VFW Post Commander Bob Crominga, and Auxiliary President Deb Quartz Brown are riding in a convertible here. Yep, and there's uh, Deb in the convertible right there. And of course, we have the uh, Civil War folks as well, dressed in uh, 1960 garb. They're probably Fortunately, a little, it's, little uh, warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too hot today, so yeah. It, yeah, those things are all made of, of wool, so it's, it's pretty pretty good. Here's the city council on the White Bear Lake uh, old-fashioned fire truck. And, yep, there's the city council right there. You can see him in your picture right now. And right behind them is the uh, fire department crew. And if you've been downtown lately, there's quite a, a quite a few changes going over at the fire department. They're actually getting a new station put in there at uh, Second and Highway 61, and I think it's slated to be done a little bit later here in uh, in August sometime. It's it's been quite the uh, deal getting set up. One of the contractors uh, um, dropped out, and they had to find scrambled, and they found another one, and. So we have some uh, pretty big equipment that they kind of needed to uh, expand the uh, the garages for. So yeah, I'm sure it's quite a big undertaking, but yep. probably needed, and I'm sure it will be state of the art once it's all done. Yep. And of course, if you ever want to get a up close look at some of the fire trucks, if you come down to Market Fest, which is on uh, Thursday nights, it's just started uh, yesterday, Thursday, and it goes until the last Thursday in July. But uh, they bring out some fire trucks. They do some CPR training for kids. And you're allowed to go in, sit inside the fire trucks. So the fire trucks you see right here, some of them actually uh, are right in downtown. And they also, here's the, uh, the ladder one. They had the ladder one out last night and they had the ladder all the way up. They don't allow anybody to go up there. I think Paul Doss from the uh, White Bear Press, he gets to go up there and take a picture. Mm. But uh, they have them strapped in there pretty good with the belt. and. It's not something that I really want to do, though. No, I was going to say, I'm not volunteering for that. <laughs> Happy to look at them from the ground. And joining them right behind is the Badness uh, Heights Fire Department as well. Badness Heights is just our, our, our neighbor to the west. Many of those kids, of course, attend White Bear Lake area schools as well. As mentioned, you know, lots of events will be taking place for Manitou Days, but Market Fest, like you said, runs even once Manitou Days is done. It'll keep going, like you said, till the end of July, every right. Thursday evening. Yeah. And if you want to come down to Lake. Market Fest, it's right in downtown. Um, starts at 6 o'clock, goes to 9 o'clock. We have uh, two stages of free music to listen to. We have some pretty good bands that come out. And, and then we have uh, intermission as well. And, uh, a lot of the intermissions are like uh, some of the dance clubs that are in town, Some, maybe some young rock, not maybe not rock, but young music yeah. guys out, they'll, they'll play. A, a wide variety of uh, um, kind of amateur talent in, in the middle that uh, fills intermission. It's well, really I, I nice know to our, see. Our crew here is usually out every Thursday night, uh, I believe at the gazebo stage. Um, usually films those concerts as well as the intermissions. So if you can't make it out here, you could probably see it on uh, Channel 19, but obviously fun to be here because, like I said, there's great music, there's great food, you can do some shopping. Yep, lots of arts and kids. crafts. Yep, yep. yep. Um, we have uh, inflatables, so like bouncy houses. And, and yeah, when my son was maze. young, we, we spent a lot of time watching him go up and down on the uh, on the inflatables. Yep, and here comes our, our Grand, Ma Grand, Grand Marshals right now for the 2024 Venezuela Day Parade. And it's kind of dubbed All Bears United, and they are Jim and Leanne Glavin. They have tag teamed together through this journey we call life. So many areas known as best to all of us as friends, neighbors, and generally dedicated community members. All the dreams that have been reached together could not have been reached without each other. 
The Glavins began his, uh, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Glavin, Jim Glavin, began his teaching and coaching career in White Bear in 1970. He served as head basketball coach from 1972 to 1998. Under Glavin's guidance, the success of White Bear basketball program was unparalleled. His 1984 and 1985 teams won 52 consecutive games. Wow. Yep, and right behind him is the uh, the drum line. You want to take that, Joe? Sure, yeah, we have the, as I'm sure you can hear, the White Bear Lake High School drum line. It's a high energy group of high school musicians who pride themselves in their high focus and precision playing abilities. Come see them play at various parades and high school sporting events throughout the year. Go Bears! And they were at uh, Market Pass last night. They had a pretty nice crowd. Right behind them is the White Bear Lake cheerleaders. The, the program has teams and clinics available for our ages. The varsity team competes at the National High School Cheerleading Championship each season and earned, earned fourth and eighth place finishes in the 2024 championship. Visit WBLCheer.com for clinic and team information. And behind the cheerleaders, we have White Bear Lake Ultimate Frisbee. And they just wrapped up another successful season. The girls' team won their conference and took a WBLU record-breaking third place at the state tournament. The boys' team was runner-ups in the conference finals and came out 15th at state. Ultimate runs both in the spring and fall, grades 6 through 12, and you can check out WBLUltimate.org for more details. And behind them is the White Bear Lake Hockey School team. They're excited to be in the parade this year. The boys team had a lot to be proud of as a program this past year and are excited for the year to come. They were Coast Conference champions with Stillwater in Section 4AA and they beat Hill Murray's giving them a ride to the state tournament. The coach for the boys team are head coach Chris Anderson, assistant Tim Hambly, Brandon Wallen, Derek Simon, JV coaches are Trevor Olson and Van Varus. And they're excited for their 30th upcoming season. And of course, the uh, the girls' high school team too is uh, has feels a pretty good team, and the head coach there is is Claudia Verkick, Jeanette Belke, Mark Dumskull, and Colleen Cameron. And coming and up behind them, we have some more athletes. The White Bear Lake football team. It's the White Bear Nation high school football teams. They are 175 players strong across four competitive teams at all levels, including freshmen, sophomores, JV, and varsity. This fall will be the inaugural varsity season in our new stadium at the Unified Campus. Mark your calendars. The home opener is August 29th, and homecoming is October 11th. Come cheer the teams on. Go Bears. Yeah, we have a, a couple young guys from the football team helping us out at Market Fest. So it's nice to have some nice, young, uh, strong guys uh, <laughs> helping us old guys out. We really appreciate. <laughs> so uh, just give a, a quick shout out to Mason and uh, Aiden, who are do a great job for us. Great, good way for them to stay in shape too yep. in the uh, off season. And once again, if you're just joining us, you are watching coverage of the 2024, uh, excuse me, 2024 Manitou Days Parade in downtown Wiper Lake. And coming up right behind them, I believe it is the uh, writing, not the writing contest, but the White Bear Lake Area Teacher of the Year, it looks like. And this year it's, Michelle Norcross, she was selected White Bear Lake Area Educator Teacher of the Year for the 2024-25 season. Ms. Norcross is a language arts teacher at the White Bear Lake Area Learning Center. She is dedicated to building relationships with the students at ALC and guiding them to their authentic selves. Michelle is continuously finding ways to make learning fun and engaging, understanding and respecting students' needs. It looks like behind her we have the White Bear Lake Area Educational Foundation. They offer support for students and educators in White Bear Lake Area schools by awarding classroom teaching grants, professional development fellowships for teachers, classroom art grants, bear grants, and student scholarships. Recently they helped fund the purchase of this electric vehicle that you saw for use by parking lot security at the new White Bear Lake Area High School and the car will be powered by clean energy collected by solar panels being added to the school's roof. You can learn more about the Educational Foundation by visiting their website at wblaef.org. And of course, right by them is the Bear Care Health Clinics. Bear Care is a nonprofit school-based health clinic that serves all children in White Bear Lake Area School District. 
The clinic is located in White Bear Lake Area High School North Campus, which will be now the main campus. Bear Care provides no and low cost services such as sports physicals, wellness exams, vaccines, illness care, mental health counseling, nutrition, education. The clinic served over 1,000 children this school year. The Bear Care nurses are practitioners, nurses, and mental health counselors, and they are thrilled to be part of the White Bear Lake community. Yeah, lots of great representatives here from our schools. So did, did you get a button this year? I, I didn't get a button, no, but <laughs> if I, I want to now, after, after I see here the button contest winner, who is Addie Alvar, She's a fourth grader uh, from Matoska International School and sponsored by State Farm Scott Bonin Agency. Do you, do you recognize the name John Lupo? Um, it, it seems familiar. Well, you know, he used to own Grandma's Bakery right down here oh, okay. downtown, and he is our volunteer of the year. Oh, nice. There's John. Uh, a few years ago, he actually dressed as, as Uncle Sam and gave away flags. Oh, nice. It was quite the get-up he had. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, John sold his business uh, a few years ago to uh, the Woolets organization, mm. and they kept, uh, kept it going here in downtown for uh, a few years, and they recently exited downtown, but Good Things now took it over, and they have uh, donuts and bakery goods and sure. stuff like that, and, and it's called Good Things Cafe. And you'll find that on 4th Street. Nice. Now John has been a, when he was a downtown here, he actually provided the cakes for the cakewalk, which was part of Market Fest, and, and uh, a, a very good community member as well. I've enjoyed many a treat from Grandma's Bakery over the years. Up is the, uh, next is the Historic Society, it looks like. Oh, and, and there we see an Uncle and, Sam. Yeah. And John Lupo, he had a, that was kind of like his outfit a couple of years ago. So, but that looks like a city council member. That, oh, what is his name? Come on, he's my city council member. Boy, he's gonna. But he's part of the uh, <laughs> part of the White Bear Lake Historical Society, and the Historical Society, of course, now is located inside the uh, White Bear Lake Armory on Fourth and Cook Street. So it's. Uh, good place to stop in they've really expanded the, uh, the their footprint downtown as well and they have some really nice exhibits and some nice uh, educational uh, classes they put on as yeah, well. Yeah it seems like they do some cool ones like even um, you know just different tours of the area and lots of interesting programs and as you can probably hear the music now that's the Forest Lake Marching Band. They're a summer parade band consisting of students in grades 7 through 12 from Forest Lake Area Middle School and Forest Lake Area High School in Forest Lake, Minnesota, just north of us here. Under the direction of Jake Matheson and Katie Dubois, the band performs in local parades throughout the summer. Yeah, let's take a, let's take a listen to them. I say this every time I help broadcast a parade, but kids these days are lucky they're wearing polo shirts and shorts. Back in my day, we had to wear usually some kind of polyester getup that was not comfortable, especially in warm temperatures. I was talking okay. to somebody last night. They were talking about how they had wool outfits in yeah. the, the big hat and the feather. Yep. But they definitely sound great. Again, it's Forest Lake Marching Band. It consists of students grades 7 through 12.
watching the 2024 Manitou Days Parade from downtown Wiper Lake. Along with Frank Watson, I'm Joe Cullen. We'll be here with you for the entire parade. Beautiful Friday evening here downtown. Yep. And up next is the White Bear Lake Lions Club. They've been part of the community for 79 years. They have raised millions of dollars over those years and have helped make our community the better place to live, work, and play. And they've been having fun doing it. Have you ever heard of the Bear Town Run? It's like a 20 mile run around mm. the lake. You go around the lake twice, it's 10 miles around White Bear Lake, and they put that on, and a lot of people that run the Twin City Marathon, they'll run that race that's put on by the Lions Club. Oh, nice. I encourage you to do it, Jill. I, who knows? You never know. <laughs> At this point, I'd be happy if I could run around the block. But and, and, and the Lions Club is kind of featured in the White Bear Press. Mike Shepard won some kind of big Lion Award, Lion of the Year or so. So check out this week's uh, White Bear Press as well. Here we have the Garlock French Roofing. They've been serving our customers for over 90 years with their roofing, siding, and storm restoration needs. They provide high quality workmanship and products with years of experience, specialized services, and a commitment to every customer. Our customers know that we aim for excellence on every project that they work on, and they've been providing their customers peace of mind since 1932. Yep, behind them is the, uh, the Boy Scouts. Scouting helps the youth in the community reach their full potential by providing them opportunities to grow in areas of service, character development, leadership, citizenship training, and personal fitness. From kindergarten to graduation and beyond, scouts learn new skills, experiences, new places, and make lifelong friendships. So make sure you check out scouting at www.scouting.org. Yeah, they're well represented tonight. Were you, were you a Boy Scout? I was. Yeah, I made it to Weeblos. I think that's about as far as I made it to. <laughs> I was going to say, I certainly wasn't an Eagle Scout. And I remember... Uh, Trying really hard in the Pinewood Derby race. But. Oh, yeah. I always, I had a good car, but I never won anything. No, it's I don't think terrible. I won either. Yeah. <laughs> Behind them is the uh, Greater White Bear Lake Community Foundation. With the microphone there is uh, Bill Fassard. Bill Fassard, you may recognize that name. He uh, owns and operates uh, the White Bear Country Inn and Rudy's. He was giving a shout out to us. Hi, Bill. <laughs> Yeah, he certainly is very active in the community here. Mm -hmm. and, as well as the, uh, the, the White Bear Lake Area Foundation, too. And they're, they're helping out with the uh, fireworks committee this year. So if you want to make a donation to the fireworks, because it's community supported, you can go to their website and make a donation for the, uh, for, for the fireworks. Any donation, big or small, we'll take anything. I'm on the fireworks committee. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so you certainly know about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, any, any that helps. So we, we welcome... And Sweeters is our, our major sponsor this year, so we really appreciate their assistance as well. Here we have the uh, Edina Realty, White Bear Lake, helping you move forward. Trust your home to the market leader, our area's number one home selling experts who love this community as much as you do. Tiny houses are still all the buzz, so here's your chance again to win a playhouse. Stop by the Edina Realty office at Highway 61 and 4th Street to register for the 16th annual Great Playhouse Giveaway. Up next is the Academy for Science and Agriculture float. It's located in the Badness Heights in Little Canada. They provide hands-on and experimental learning through field trips, terms, and classroom activities throughout the year. Students are offered opportunities to engage with the environment and the community as well to develop leadership skills. And if you want to check them out close up, they will be at the last Market Fest and they'll have a slew of booths and you can find out about all the stuff they do there. It's, you know, so if you're really into science, I'm actually a meteorologist. Oh, so, so this, this would be right, up, you, right, yeah. up, right up my alley. And so I, I was really into that kind of stuff. And if you're into any kind of science, make sure to come down to the last Market Fest and visit them. So it might be some future Frank Watsons uh, learning their trade there. Mm -hmm. Here we have uh, Flips Gymnastics. They've been serving the White Bear area for over 35 years. Flips offers a variety of programs for boys and girls ages 18 months and up. Yeah, I had zero gymnastics ability in, uh, in school. Same. <laughs> in, in junior high, which is now middle school, we had to participate in gymnastics and 
uh, the, the pommel horse and the, and the parallel bars. The parallel bars was the last thing I ever did in gymnastics. I was trying to do a flip through, and I fell perfectly through the bars, landed right on my back, and I decided right there and then, I'm done with gymnastics. Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> going to be your career choice. Yeah, I was never, um, I don't know if I could even do a somersault or a jumping, or not jumping jack, or a cartwheel or anything like that. So I, I'm amazed that uh, even little ones at 18 months are able to do these things. Yes. Yeah. That, that certainly wasn't my forte. Oh, my grandson, his mom is a, uh, in gym, into gymnastics. She was on the white beer uh, team and everything, but I think he has her uh, her talent because he has been doing uh, cartwheels and and all sorts of stuff already at the age of three. Oh wow! So he has a, <laughs> a big future ahead, ahead of him. He'll he'll get his training and tips from his mom and not from me. <laughs> Here we have. Well, actually, sorry, I didn't mean to steal preferred kitchens from you. If you no, want to. No, go ahead. Okay. Preferred Kitchens has been a local residential remodeler since 1985. Stop driving by and stop into the showroom to get your project started. Yeah, and they're located right there on Highway 61 as you come into downtown. So if you're headed north into downtown, you'll see them. I think they're on the corner of 2nd and, and Highway 61. You can't miss them. They're on the east side, and they have a nice little display room there. And So make sure you yeah, yeah, stop in and... Get a get a look at some of the latest uh, innovations they have for your kitchen. Yeah. Maybe you need some new cabinets, new countertop, something. Spruce up the old place. <laughs> There's a lot of old ramblers here in, in White Bear Lake, so it's always good to freshen it up every once oh, in a definitely. while. And they are, of course, a, a Cambria dealer as well. Lots of kids here enjoying the uh, treats. Oh, I think I almost got an orange thrown to me. Oh, you know, yeah. Some healthy treats besides just the candy. Yeah. Looks like they had some oranges. Behind them is Atlas Painting. Atlas Painting is a locally owned and operated commercial, industrial, and residential painting contractor focusing on integrity, honesty, and quality in order to provide a great finished product for you because your project matters. I, I could have used them this past weekend. I was painting up a, an old wood swing set that was in severe need of painting, and I'm really kind of surprised how well it came out. So Maybe I, they, I surprised maybe they myself. could use your services <laughs> yeah. instead of the other way around. <laughs> you know, I, I learned my, my painting skills from Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Here we have uh, Frasati Catholic Academy. They serve preschool through eighth grade students, and they're committed to building future leaders through quality curriculum and the Catholic faith. And they're located just on the west side of Highway 61, right across from the up and coming new fire department, right across from City Hall. And hopefully I was saying that correctly, Fasadi? Fasadi, yes, okay. Fasadi. I, I should be able to say it better because my, uh, my mother is Italian, and ah. so. Her last name was Ponticello's, and uh, so I, I, you would think I'd be better at pronouncing some of these <laughs> Italian words. I, apparently when we were little, my grandmother, who was from the old country, she would uh, speak Italian to us all the time, and, and we would actually answer, but she lived in New Jersey, then as soon as we came here to the Midwest, we kind of lost it all. Mm. We, were, we were pretty young. I wish, I wish my mom would have kept it up with us, but she didn't. <laughs> Looking back on it now as an adult. <laughs> yeah. A little easier to learn a different language when you're young, too. Manly Gardening is up next. They are your local hometown gardener, providing substantial gardening design, installation, and maintenance services in Wiper Lake and the surrounding area. They are certified landscape professionals by the Minnesota Nursery and Landscape Association and are master gardeners. Additionally, they are proud sponsors of the White Bear Lake Center for the Arts. Do you do any gardening? Not really, no. Yeah. I have a vegetable garden, and, and apparently the, uh, the rabbits have been feasting. Ooh. I, had, I grow uh, some strawberries, and they have been picked clean. I even put some chicken wire over the top and, and nothing. So if you guys have any hints, <laughs> you know, email me. 
Yeah, I don't have much of a green thumb. I'm just happy if my lawn is still semi alive. Yeah, well, there's been plenty of rain this year to yeah. keep your lawn. Yeah, so far nice it's looking green. really good. And my next door neighbor, he mows his yard every three or four days, so he makes me look really bad. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have Premier Bank. Your local family business community bank, and they're celebrating 50 years. From a humble trailer in 1974 to 20 branches statewide, Premier has grown thanks to loyal, valued clients. Premier Banks, gratefully building business and community from one generation to the next. And you'll find them downtown, of course, right there on uh, 3rd Street and Highway 61. And they have this uh, leather sofa in there. If you, get, if you go in there, it's, it's kind of really what I want in my house, but I don't. It's one of those classic old red leather surf, mm. uh, sofas. Really nice. Bear Exteriors is up next. Bear Roofing and Exteriors is a local company that will, is well established in the Twin Cities and surrounding area. It has been, it's a great reputation for quality craftsmanship, customer service. They service many communities, residential and commercial. They take pride in all of their jobs and want their customers to have the same sense of pride in their completed home that we'll, we have in our company. Roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. Big enough to handle any job, yet small enough to care. Call us for a free estimate. And you can also find them at, at Market Fest, too. Right behind them, we have GP's Minnesota Wholesale Tire, Wheel, and Auto Repair. They're a small business located at 3955 Highway 61 North in White Bear Lake. Here you'll always receive personalized attention and quality worksman workmanship. And to make your experience as easy as possible, they're available for local shuttle service and have a night key drop for your convenience. And you can call 651-426-4518 to schedule your appointment today. That's GP's Minnesota Wholesale Tire, Wheel, and Auto Repair. Yeah, they're located right there on Highway 61, just south of downtown, on the west side of 61. They have ASE certified mechanics and offer a nationwide warranty on qualifying work as part of the Napa Auto Care Center Network. All right, the Bear Boating Float is coming up. Now, I, I see this boat all the time down there, right up by the VFW. They take uh, senior citizens out all the time. And um, also, if you're active duty military veteran or anybody with a disability, bear boating and fishing trips, you can go on and sign them sign up and be a part of that does uh i know you work for what northeast residents yep hammer and NER. yeah do you guys take people out there at all um or? i don't know if we do through them but we do have an annual fishing trip that mm -hmm. just happened fairly recently yeah so uh look up beer boating on the internet to uh maybe uh, want to have your mom or your dad to have them take a, a nice little ride out there on white bear lake yeah, it's like bearboating.org we'll get you some more info here another band. This is the Hopkins Park Marching Band that's coming up. It's a high school marching band directed by Nora Tycast, Annalise Heim, and Donovan Mack. Over 100 students participate from both schools and are looking forward to their inaugural collaborative season. Again, it's the Hopkins Park High School Marching Band. Listen to this for a little bit. Day Parade. Up 
find them is somebody that we're all very familiar with. If you've uh, seen their commercial, it's White Bear Mitsubishi. Put your hands together for the White Bear Mitsubishi. Come to White Bear Mitsubishi for a free lifetime powertrain warranty and local shop in White Bear Lake. They're located right there on Highway 61. They're uh, a big sponsor of uh, a Market Fest. They sponsor this the stage in the back. So it's the, the third, we call it the third street stage. And um, so if you come down to Market Fest, come on, come on in the back lot and uh, enjoy some, some music. They have, some, they have some clever commercials with the bear. Oh, definitely, yeah. Here we have the Sand Law PLLC, Minnesota personal injury firm. And that Sand Law, Minnesota personal injury firm. It's like they have the grandkids in back there. Yeah. Nice old vintage Cadillac El Dorado, maybe. The Order Royal Guard is up next from the St. Paul Winter Carnival. They're a St. Paul community organization featuring individuals who have served as kings and guards. The defenders of Boris Realm during the St. Paul Winter Carnival since 1916. The Royal Guards are accompanied today by members of the Minnesota de Mole, a youth leadership organization they have partnered with for community outreach and mentorship. For information about either organization, visit their Facebook group, St. Paul Winter Carnival Guards, or speak directly with their members here today. And behind them, we have the 2024 St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family. The Winter Carnival is the country's oldest international festival, older than the Pasadena Tournament of Roses, and has been making mockery of winter for over 130 years. It started when a newspaper reporter from New York visited St. Paul in January and published that it was unfit for human habitation. Undaunted, St. Paul businessmen decided to create a winter festival to celebrate the cold and have never looked back. The 2024 Royal Family is led by uh, Boreas Rex, the 87th, Steve Duty, Queen of the Snows, Jennifer Westerhaus, and Prime Minister Danny Ross. The family also includes five king guards, four winds, and wind princesses. They welcome anyone to come and help celebrate the coolest celebration on earth. Of course, they didn't make much of appearance this past winter. Yeah. I, I don't know about you, but I, I kind of enjoyed a nice little break of our typical Minnesota winter. Yeah, I, I wasn't complaining <laughs> too much. And one of the things I do is I, I chart the weather here in White Bear and, and, and White Bear Lake uh, come uh, Christmas day was actually open. Which well, that doesn't happen rare. too often. <laughs> and there was a very short period of time where they had um, ice enough, thick enough, for a few cars to go on. Not very many people ventured out there. <laughs> Behind them are the, uh, the Balkans. They've earned quite a reputation. A few of them are going around marking kids with the, their, their V. They'll, they always ask you now if they uh, can put the V on you. Yeah. Have you ever been marked? I think so when I was younger. Yeah. And there's, uh, I think this is the Genie Bus. That's also part of the Winter Carnival. It's the East Wind Organization. Hey. Titan Fire Truck, past North Winds of the St. Paul Winter Carnival and the Rice Street Royalty Princesses. The North Wind is the best wind. And of course, the uh, Klondike Kates. Sounding good.
think they're talking to me. <laughs> I think, yeah, they were pointing over here. Yeah. The Klondike Cates are from the St. Paul Winter Carnival are proud to introduce from the Royal House of St. Croix, Hospice and Garden Pest Solutions. Klondike Kate 2024 is Jody Van Hart. You can see Klondike Cates perform at the Minnesota State Fair from noon to 3 p.m. on August 28th at the Frontier Saloon. And of course, we just saw the Balkans go a little bit ahead of them. Here's the east winds coming up. You know, they're never in order with our, our script. That's the typical Balkan way, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And if you're just joining us, you're watching the 2020, 2024, that's easy enough for me to say, Manitou Days Parade from downtown White Bear Lake. Of course, here comes the uh, the North Wind folks now. Ah, I think I jumped the gun on them before. No, I, I don't think you did. You did fine. It was, uh, I think they're just a little bit out of order. A little out of order. They, you know, better late than never. That's right. You know, they didn't make an appearance this winter. <laughs> and the north wind is the best wind. Behind them is uh, Min Bath. Min Bath is a White Bear Lake business that launched in 2024, so they're, they're brand new. They specialize in curbside cleaning of residential and commercial trash cans using an eco-friendly process without chemicals. Sanitize, disinfect, deodorize, experience the Min Bin Bath difference today. And you can find them, of course, at, at Market Fest as well. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, Min Bin Bath. Yeah, of course, when I say Market Fest, Market Fest is a community event held in downtown White Bear Lake on Thursday nights between now and the last Thursday in July from six o'clock to nine o'clock. Food, bouncy houses, music, crafts, and all sorts of different other things and information is found in Market Fest, so come on down. And we just saw the Tactical Escape 101 from Maplewood. They're located in the Maplewood Mall. Their newest escape room is the four to 16 player Gulliver's Travels themed room. There's also the two to six player Company Like Fish and the four to 12 player Old West Rattlesnake Saloon at the Maplewood location. There are three other stores in Rice Lake, Eau Claire, and Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And they like to honor veterans, active military, and first responders. And it notes that they are a small business. You can learn more at tacticalescape101.com. And the White Bear Area Lake is uh, well known for not only its local schools, but also its uh, Christian schools. The Magnuson School is a Christian-centered, academically excelled, excellent school, caring and safe community that develops the whole child, heart, soul, and mind, and body, preparing and employing students, empowering students to become strong, confident, and compassionate leaders. Magnuson Christian School serves grades K through eight. Check out their website at magnusonschool.org. Uh, here we have the White Bear Dance Center. They're a recreational and competitive dance studio offering classes in tap, jazz, ballet, point, musical theater, lyrical, contemporary, hip hop, and acro from ages 18 months through adults. There's something for everyone. Their multi-level competitive companies have received high achievements in technique, costuming, choreography, and performance, both regionally and nationally. They're currently registering for summer programs, intensives and camps, as well as their 2024-25 fall spring program. Visit them at whitebeardancecenter.com. They can't wait to dance with you. And they performed uh, intermission last night at the gazebo stage on 4th and Washington last night. And uh, they, they always bring out a crowd, parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, neighbors, and... 
And as you can see, there's a wide range of ages. You have some really small children up to, looks like even maybe some high schoolers. Oh yeah, definitely some high schoolers. They, they're the ones that are doing those, those big flips. Yeah. It's amazing. I don't know how they do it. I would probably be out there dancing too, but uh, I need to be up here for this uh, one. Joe, I think I might pay to see you to do that. <laughs> Probably, somewhat surprisingly, I have not been a uh, competitive dancer. But my sister growing up did do a lot of dance and ballet and drill team and all that, so I've, I've been in the crowd for many a performance of this type. Yeah, it's always good to show your support. If you can't do it, support them. That's right. Oh. I don't know if we got that one on air, but the uh, gal <laughs> in front of us did, did an amazing flip. Quite the troop here, too. Yeah, it's a large number. As we mentioned, they um, do competitive dancing and have received high achievements in technique, costuming, choreography, and performance, not only just regionally, but also nationally. And of course, you're watching the 2024 Manitou Day Parade. It's usually held right after the first Market Fest on a Friday. So Market Fest is on a Thursday, the first one, and the parade is uh, followed immediately the next day on Friday. We generally start right at 6.30. It uh, starts at the library area, weaves its way through downtown, goes down to 4th Street, and then heads off toward the lake, goes along the lake. It's called Lake Avenue, of course, and it ends finally up at West Park Memorial Beach area. I understand there's a beach dance tonight as well. Right, there's a beach dance following the, the parade immediately, right after the parade, yes. it's uh, You can buy uh, a ticket at the door. You can buy them online. Well, as I've seen a lot of people watching the parade, it's obvious that Manitou Days is a long-time institution here in White Bear Lake and very have, popular one at that. Have, they've been going uh, for 35 years now. Wow. It took a little break during COVID, 2020, but uh, started right back up again, 2021. Behind them, of course, it's uh, election season between now and November. And of course, uh, the White Bear Lake area Republican Party is here. Meet the White Bear area conservative candidates. And running is Mei Lor Zong for US House. Patty Bradway from Minnesota House District, District White Bear and Badness Heights, and Elliot Engen of Lano Lakes, Circle Pines, Centerville, and North Oaks, Minnesota House Representative. He's the current one right now. Do you follow politics much? Yeah, I do a bit. I, I do too. It's really hard to talk to people sometimes about politics. Some of them get very, emo, you know, some yeah. don't want to talk at all. Some are willing to engage you. And well, and, you know, it's important to remember our local races because, you know, a lot of the discourse is generally on the, obviously we're in a presidential year, mm -hmm. a lot of big races there, but where a lot of things actually happen is on our local level. Yeah. So it's always good to be well informed of what the local candidates are um, yeah. running for. And the local ones aren't, quite as intense as you pointed out no. as, as the national <laughs> ones. Yeah, it doesn't get quite <laughs> as heated, hopefully. But. Mm -hmm. And here's Patty Bradway coming up. I don't recognize her right offhand here. And I could be mistaken, at least I know in Market Fest's past that I've gone to, uh, a lot of the politicians will have booths and stuff, so it's... Right, both the uh, Republican Party and the uh, Democratic Party, they, they both have uh, have booths down here, and sometimes some of the independents do. There's Patty Anderson. So that's usually a good chance, events mm -hmm. like that, if you have questions or mm -hmm. just kind of want to know where people stand on things. Mm -hmm. There's Elliot Egden, he's uh, passing out um, some candy. He's a new dad few, from a few months ago. Oh, wow. Busy year for him then. New uh, dad and running for office. Mm -hmm.
They have a nice uh, decorated uh, SUV there. There's Elliot on the screen right now, passing out candy. I see him quite a bit uh, around town as well, too. He's very active around downtown and, and in the area. Here we have the Medicine Chest Pharmacy, the Polar Bear Store. Medicine Chest Pharmacy is located right in the heart of downtown White Bear Lake, not too far from where uh, we're broadcasting from. The store has been in continuous operation since 1931, making it one of the city's oldest retail businesses. The owners and staff are proud to serve this loyal community with top-notch customer service and patient care. Medicine Chest is also the home of all things Polar Bear, earning the nickname the Polar Bear Store. On the float is a sampling of the concrete statues that can be purchased at the store. Medicine Chest also carries a wide variety of other White Bear Lake merchandise, including apparel, souvenirs, and gifts. Stop by sometime and experience the customer service that sets them apart. And they still do film developing as, as well. I was gonna say, I <laughs> definitely, I always think of them, if, if I do need something local, like where am I gonna find a White Bear Lake postcard? They're a good place for that. Uh, years ago when I needed a passport photo taken, I'm like, where could I go for that? They helped me there. So they have some really unique gifts. Yeah, behind them is the White Bear Lake, White Bear Foot and Ankle Clinic. They are staffed with your local experts on all your foot and ankle needs. They treat patients of all ages. The White Bear Foot and Ankle Clinic specializes in casting, fitting, and dispensing custom foot orthics and braces with a variety of options to specifically target your pain. They look forward to being your local private pediatric experts. That's the White Bear Foot and Ankle Clinic. As you can hear, we have another marching band. This is the United Marching Band. It includes 7th through 11th grade students from all of District 622 secondary schools, all combined together as the United Marching Band. Under the direction of Lori Bernstrom, Aaron Hammerman, John Pavoni, Meg Halston, and Emily Bunnell. So, District 622 would include some of our neighbors, including uh, Oakdale, North St. Paul, some of that area. Are you a white bear grad? I am not. Either no. am I. But my daughter is, I tell people. So it makes me one of them, kind of through her. <laughs> I went to Mount View. Right? I, I'm from North Dakota, so oh, I can't okay. even blame a high school. Bismarck High School. Mm -hmm. Our Grand Marshal was from North Dakota here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Sustainable Safari. That's located in Maplewood Mall. And you can also visit them here at, in, uh, at Market Fest. They have a uh, hundred different wildlife species. And of course, that's at Maplewood Mall. With an admission, you can view, feed, and interact with as many of the animals. An interactive family destination for all areas. Yeah, it's, it, I don't know if you've ever been there. It's, it's, it's quite the uh, quite the setup they have there. Yeah, I haven't actually gone into it, but I've passed it while at the mall, and it's kind of a unique idea, especially as, you know, malls, I'm sure, are looking for tenants and things. And um, yeah, kind of a unique one, especially bringing the family out. Uh, Here's a guy with a uh, snake around his neck. Snake, yeah, I'm not sure I want to hold the snake, yeah. but... Yeah, in, our, in junior high, our seventh grade science teacher, Bob Heyer, National Teacher of the Year, by the way, he, he had a snake in, in the room, and we would take it, was a, it would, we would take it out, and all the, the boys, anyway, would uh, <laughs> wear it around their shoulders and stuff like that. Did that many times. We all survived. <laughs> Oh, th this is a sale. I was I thought it was part of the Savari people, but uh, it's part of the uh, White Bear Sailing in School. Ah, the historic Hedwig, owned by Beverly Driscoll of Delwood, Minnesota. The Hedwig is a 38-foot uh, ace scow, the fastest and largest of the scow family. Its beam is over 8 feet and weighs nearly 2,000 pounds and has 1,700 square feet of sails between its three sails. The A-Scow was designed right here on White Bear Lake. 
It has a century of heritage delivering a combination of raw power, speed, and performance unmatched in one design sailing. A truce classic, the A Scow is monumental to watch, not to mention powerful to race with a six to seven person crew. And you can see this boat Monday nights racing on beautiful White Bear Lake. The Hedwig is sponsored by the White Bear Sailing School, which offers a variety of camps and sailing experiences for all ages throughout the summer. The sailing school hopes you can join them on the water this summer. I almost got the crew on that, by the way. Oh, wow. Fletcher Disco was her husband. He passed away a few years ago, but he asked me if I'd be interested because he, he liked the way I was built. If, if you've ever seen me, I'm, you know, I'm about 110 pounds. It's kind of, I'm kind of, you know, lanky. So he, he'd like that in, in, a, in a crew member, okay. apparently. <laughs> yeah. The White Bear area Chamber of Commerce is also down here with us. They are proud to be your local chamber, strengthening businesses through advocacy, networking, and education. The White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce is your Northeast Metro Area connection for businesses and organizations. Connect with us for your increased visibility, networking, referrals, cost-saving benefits, marketing, and sponsorship opportunities, economic development, and state and local advocacy. They are located, of course, right down here in White Bear Lake as well. And I think it's like the, uh, they're on the west side on just by 6th Street there. So. Okay. Here we see uh, Chick-fil-A of Maplewood. They're excited to serve you. They're kind of right near Maplewood Mall. Making me hungry. I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm thinking of the chicken sandwiches and chicken nuggets. So I'm pretty good right now. My grandson, he calls a, a drumstick, chicken on a stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Behind them is Unity One Credit Union. Think outside the bank with Unity One Credit Union with our unlimited free checking accounts that are federally insured by the NCUA up to $250,000 and more. Swing by our Maplewood office today and make the switch. I hope that 50, 250,000 is not a requirement to open yeah. an account. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Hopefully not. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. Unity One Credit Union. Here we have the South Shore Trinity Lutheran Church. They would like to welcome all children to this year's Vacation Bible School scuba and dive into friendship with God. Scuba starts on August 5th through August 9th, 2024 with uh, from 9 a.m. until noon each day. They look forward to seeing you there. And they're located on uh, South Shore and uh, Bel Air Avenue, right across from Bel Air Beach. I'm sure part of the day might be spent going down to the beach as well. Oh, fun. Yeah, they're just right down there. The waters. Waters of Waipere Lake is a senior living community off Highway 61 with 136 apartments ranging from independent living to memory care. Call for a tour today. That's the Waters of White Bear Lake. Of course, you, what you see there too is uh, people handing out candy. That's kind of a, a long tradition here in White Bear for our parade. The uh, participants of the parade, they walk down and they hand out candy to the kids. Kids have bags and of course, you know, they, they collect as much as they can, get all that candy and sugar and the parents are really thrilled about that. So they, they get home with a nice big bag of candy. Here we have, this must be Boogie for Jesus. It's a dance ministry that tries to create a party atmosphere wherever they perform. Its feature performer and founder is a rapper named Lorvin. Through the use of his four characters of the charismatic, the godinator, the entertainer, and God's pitfall, he has probably entertained over three million people through over 250 parades. The Minnesota State Fair, the Sunshine Music Festival, along with other events. He takes popular music, cleans up the lyrics, and then has given over 30 songs a great message. For parades, he uses a convertible car with strobe light, which you probably saw. To find out more, go to boogieforjesus.com. And right behind them, we'll give a quick mention, is Manitou Ridge Golf Course. That's located just north of downtown White Bear Lake. And if you're a golfer, make sure you check out their 18-hole course. 
And behind them, we had Ancona, Tidal, and Escrow. White Bear's own. For your all, all your real estate, closing services, title insurance, and escrow needs, they specialize in purchase, refinance, commercial, and new construction transactions. And again, they're headquartered in White Bear Lake. Go to AnconaTitle.com for more info. And of course, up behind them is Senate District 36. Welcome to Senate District 36, U.S. Representative Betty McCollum's State Senator Heather Guptison and other DFL candidates and volunteers want to let you know they will do even more in 24. Your DFL party is working hard to preserve human rights, voting rights, and to support families and individuals. And of course, you can come down to Market Fest and engage some of these folks as well and find out more about them as well. That's the Senate District 36 DFL candidates and representatives. They're uh, them, already elected. So. Press Publications. And Press Publications is a family-owned group of weekly newspapers located in the northeast suburbs. And actually, that's one of their editors, Shannon Granholm, along with uh, one of her dogs, Tundra. And the reason I know this is they're actually my neighbors. And, and guess what else, Joe? You'll find my weather column in the White Bear Press well, as well. Perfect. Weather tidbits. And behind that is Bernice, which is being driven by Shannon's husband, Patrick. And uh, one of their other dogs, Twinkie, is riding along in there. And actually, their son was riding in the other one there with Tundra. But yeah, they're neighbors of ours. And uh, Press Publications, family-owned group of weekly newspapers located in the northeast suburbs. They are distributed by Junior Carriers, Motor Routes, and the USPS. The news is intensely local, people-focused with an emphasis on schools, government, sports, and community events. And, yeah. They're a big sponsor of the Boat Show, which is, which is also coming up. And that's uh, on June 22nd down by the White Bear Shopping Center by Kowalski's. Okay. So come on down there and you can see the vintage boats, Chris Crafts, uh, some of the old-fashioned wooden boats. It'll be great. Behind them is the Benson Airport. If you ever go north of on Highway 61, you'll see them off on the on the east side of the road, just short of Connie Road J or, or 120, depending on what you want to call it. And uh, what you're seeing is a, a re, what, somebody, you might need to help me out here. I don't know if it's restored or not, but anyway, if you want to, apparently you can go down there and visit with them and check out some of the airplanes they have as well. I have a buddy that took me up in some of those small planes a few oh, times. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Here we have a popular group, the Midwest Ski Otters, celebrating their 29th year in White Bear Lake, performing free water ski shows on Goose Lake. They perform every Sunday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. with a fully scripted, narrated, costume-themed story that is acted out on stage and on the water and entertaining for the entire family. This summer, they are excited to bring you Otter Time Fitness. And here they are building the, the Human Pyramid. You may think this is crazy. You're an asshole. That's a lot of the They put the youngest and the lightest on top. There you go. Of course, it's easy on doing it on uh, on asphalt, but they actually do this on skis. Yeah, as I say, I'm sure that raises the difficulty level a bit. Yeah. And they do so, they do this on on Sundays throughout the summer, and they're located on Highway 61, just south of Connie Road F. If you ever want to see their show, that's where you will find them. Every Sunday from 6 to 7:30. Yeah, it's a great, great opportunity for the entire family. Something for everybody and to enjoy. There's no charge. Uh, even better. Garnet Lounge, Lodge, Garnet Lodge, Lodge. <laughs> there's echo in here. <laughs> uh, number 166 and other Mason bodies providing charitable contributions to the community and a fabulous biannual pancake breakfast. And behind them we have Revive Salon and Med Spa, providing luxury full salon and med spa services to all of White Bear Lake and surrounding areas. 
And it's Revive Salon and Med Spa. Yep, they're located right here downtown. There's the owner, Kim, scoon over, passing out candy. Kim, uh, the owner revived. They're located right down on uh, on Fourth Street and Cook, right next to Abbott Painting. They do all sorts of other stuff besides um, hair. They do also have a lot of beauty products. As Del, I, I, I'm a frequent visitor there. No, I'm not, no. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they also uh, they do massages too. I think yeah, they do some massages there. They're a, kind of a spa there, so they really take good care of you there. Sure. Up next behind them, our neighbors just to our north, Sasago Lakes High School Band. Joe, did you play any instruments in high school? I did. I played the uh, alto saxophone. Okay. I was in the marching band, and actually, in, similar to what you said before, back in my day, it was junior high. I know now it's middle school, but I was, uh, I think I was, a, I was a drum major my freshman year, but then, yeah, played saxophone and marched in plenty of a parade. Again, always in a very uncomfortable uniform, but I had fun with it. They even feature a few piccolo players here. Right there, the piccolo. Not too many of them. No. That is a piccolo, right? I believe so. <laughs> I, I have zero music talent. You, were you in a marching band? No, I have, no? I have zero music talent. Okay. <laughs> I'll just listen to them. Tap my foot. High School Marching Band. Oh, hello. Uh, they're busting a move, too. Yeah. They're hand-slapping uh, some of the uh, people along the sides. There you can see them doing that. Find their places again. serving adults with disabilities in the White Bear Lake community since 1990. PAI maximizes integration into the community by helping individuals pursue meaningful, personalized activities, including competitive employment in the community. And they have a really cool looking car too. Yeah, very. This like, looks like the Batmobile or something. I don't know if I'd feel safe in it, but... Uh, <laughs> it is cool. It looks cool. That's P-A-I. Oh, wait, no, P-A-I. That's, yeah, that's what just went past. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. Up behind them is Leanna Rose Interiors. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the parade. They are thrilled to, I am thrilled anyway, to introduce Leanna Rose. It's a full service interior design business with two fabulous retail locations in downtown Wiper Lake. At Leanna Rose, everyone can shop with confidence knowing they are selecting unique items curated by a team of professional designers. It is your, it's your change to bring a touch to Leanna Rose magic into your home, no matter the size of your purchase. Be sure to visit them at 2175 4th Street. That's the Avalon building. 
and 4701 Banning Avenue to find you, to find you inspiration. And the second location on Banning, that is just south of Fourth, of Third Street, right, just to our right, Joe. If you okay. look down that way, and of course the other one, they have a, another shop, much easier to find, is at the Avalon Mall. And they just moved in there just uh, about a month ago, replacing okay. the old st Stride Right shoe that was in there. It looks like you could go to leona-rose.com for more information about them. Yep. And if you're joining us, you're watching the 2024 Manitou Days Parade. Along with Frank Watson, I'm Joe Cullen, providing you this coverage on suburban community channels. I want to make sure we thank the hardworking crew that's here tonight. Uh, they have their new production vehicle out tonight and have a great group of guys running the equipment in the vehicle as well as uh, running our cameras out here and making us look and sound good. So we appreciate all the staff at Suburban Community Channels, of which I might add I worked there for over 20 years. I now work elsewhere, but they're uh, kind enough to invite me back when needed for parades and things like that. So yep, and that's uh, me on the right and Joe on the left. Thank you, Arlen, for getting us in there. Yes, thank Arlen Becker and David Schuyler, who both uh, work for SEC. They do lots of events throughout the community, sports, graduations, concerts, lots of things in the schools. And behind them is uh, Carboni's Pizzeria and Pub. Carboni's Pizzeria and Pub is located at 1350 Highway 96 in White Bear Lake. It's locally owned and operated for more than 30 years. Hoagies, burgers, salads, and of course, the best pizza around. Call 651-429-7609 for delivery or takeout, or come dine in and enjoy your favorite food with the best happy hour in White Bear Lake. Pizza, the whole family loves Carboni's. It's really making me hungry. And now we have the uh, Gorilla Dumpster Bag. It's a small, locally owned business. The Gorilla Bag comes with a patented bag stand, which makes it very easy and safe to load. Uh, you can throw away your carpet, wood, plastics, and furniture. The service includes delivery, pickup, and disposal. Uh, just give Gorilla Dumpster Bag a call at 1-844-BIG-BAGS to find out more. I don't know if you, there's the girls' high school. There we go, okay. They, they kind of threw me off with the, the girls' high school like hockey team is here, but the total tool uh, truck kind of threw me off there <laughs> for a second. But uh, you know, girls are well represented here tonight, playing ho hockey players as well. Looks like they have some rollerblades. If you don't recognize what they're wearing, they're called rollerblades. It kind of simulates uh, the this, this skating motion. And these look like the the, the youth team here. Of course, look very young. So did you play hockey growing up? I did not. No. no. Did you? I, I did, but not not for the not for the high school team. I wasn't that good. I thought it was good. <laughs> we I, all I, think we're good. I, I enjoy watching <laughs> it, but other than playing like floor hockey in gym, mm -hmm. that was the extent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we have Alliance Tree Care, located at White Bear Lake. Alliance Tree Care Incorporated has been voted as one of the top five tree care companies in Minnesota in 2022 to 2023, and going for their third year this year. Alliance Tree Care Incorporated is a certified woman-owned business that has won the Better Business Bureau Spark Award for Entrepreneurship in 2023 and the Better Business Bureau Torch Award for Ethics in 2024. Alliance Tree Care Incorporated provides state-of-the-art tree care services across the metro area, primarily in the Northeast Metro, and give them a call today for a free customized assessment of your yard. You know, and it just wouldn't be right not having a, uh, a boat in the parade as well. I mean, we are at Wake Bear Lake. Swell Wake Surf, located right here in Wake Bear Lake. Swell Wake Surf is your go-to local expert for all things water sports. The craft, they, they craft an extensive range of boating and water sports equipment designed to enhance your experience on the water and make every motion perfect. And if you want to get a close-up look at the boat, 
come down on Thursday nights to downtown between 6 and 9, and you can see them at Market Fest. And behind them, you just heard the horn from Schiffsky Companies. And we're thrilled to introduce a company that's transforming landscapes and creating unforgettable outdoor experiences uh, located in Stillwater. Schiffsky Companies isn't just any landscaping company. They're a design-build powerhouse specializing in turning dreams into reality. Whether it's crafting a new patio, installing a swimming pool, or creating sustainable landscapes, Schiffsky Companies is at the forefront of innovation and creativity. And of course, it's a big election year once again, and Wynonna Yang is running for your next Ramsey County District Court judge because she believes in a bench that is built strongly on voter awareness. District Court judges make decisions that directly impact lives, and these individual impacts may leave lifelong and generation, generational consequences. They may often be the last line of defense to one's rights and one's dignity. Join Winona and let's work the wheels of democracy to bring the judiciary to the community. A win for Winona is a win for all. Winona Yang for Judge, Ramsey County. We'll have some more athletes coming up soon, right behind Winona Yang's truck. We have some White Bear Lake wrestlers. White Bear Lake wrestling is represented by new head coach Jeff Isaac. Coach Craig Nasvik retired at the end of last season after 39 years of coaching wrestling. Uh, yeah, he was a big guy. Wrestlers. I remember seeing him around town. You didn't challenge him to a... Uh, have a wrestling duel. <laughs> I wrestled briefly in uh, in high school, but uh, I didn't last long. Yeah, I never did, and part of it didn't help. I'm fairly tall, so my weight usually would have been the bigger guys, and I, I figured I didn't stand much of a chance, so I stuck to tennis. Instead. Right, I, I was uh, I was a lightweight, so but you know, fortunately, we don't have to wrestle the big guys. You wrestle <laughs> your, your own weight. You're not matched up against, uh, you know people bigger than you so it is a fair fight at least for uh, the lighter weights <laughs> we just saw the Manitou FC guessing that's football club which um, soccer we would call it here but. Well, I was confused there for a second but thank you <laughs> behind them is uh, brand for house campaign step state representative Brianne Curran represents the communities of Birchwood Village, Gem Lake, Badness Heights, White Bear Lake, and parts of White Bear Township in the Minnesota Legislature. They are running for re-election this fall. And Brianne actually used to work, I used to work with her. Uh, she worked for many years for Northeast Residence, which mm -hmm. is now Hammer and NER. Uh, her parents worked there as well. She worked in a variety of roles there for many years and now um, had just been serving her first term in the uh, Minnesota legislature and is running for re-election. I think she was a uh, White Bear Reserve also. I believe yep. so, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here we have the Serve Pro Team Short, White Bear Lake. They're proud to serve White Bear Lake and the surrounding communities. They understand the stress and worry that comes with water or fire damage and the disruption it causes to your life, home, or business. Their goal is to help minimize the interruption to your life and quickly make it like it never happened. Our Serve Pro Team Short is available anytime you need help, 24 hours a day, including weekends and holidays. Call for your residential and commercial cleanup, repair, and construction service needs, and they thank you. Uh, they, they'd like to thank the Manitou Days Committee for letting them take part in this grand parade. Go Bears! And of course, Paul Yang also running for Ramsey County District. Court judge. I, I hope they're not related. Yeah, that could make for an uncomfortable uh, family reunion. <laughs> I'm sure they're not. We'll just say not related. So Paul Yang running for Ramsey County District Court Judge. Please contribute to his campaign committee. Vote for Paul Yang Committee. Go to his website at pauliangforjudge.org for more information. And behind them we have TJ Malaski for Minnesota House. 
representing District 36B, White Bear Lake, Lower White Bear Township, Badness Heights, Gem Lake, and Birchwood Village. Up oh, there he is in the uh, reddish shirt there. Just walked through the camera. Up oh, there he is. Up. And I believe driving the vehicle is a uh, your former co-host of this uh, parade. He was great to work with. <laughs> he carried he carried me. JP <laughs> Baroni. Yes. yes. I've had the pleasure to work with him. Uh, we used to both do the uh, radio players through Lakeshore Players Theater. Uh, we performed at Market Fest and a bunch of different uh, area things, so he's, he's well-known in the community. Hey, Joe, I want to say I'm really happy to be working with you as well. Oh, I'm happy to okay. be working with you too, yes. we. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I had in my contract I only work with JP, but... Uh, yeah, they, <laughs> made it, they paid you more this year. And <laughs> uh, the bus drivers, yes. North Star Bus Lines, American Student Transportation. With us, family comes first and our drivers are family. We're looking for individuals willing to get students to and from school safely. We provide training and will pay you to get your CDL Class B with school bus and passenger endorsements if you need them. Take advantage of flexible scheduling, competitive weekly pay, and a generous sign-on bonus. They're hiring also van drivers, paras, and mechanics. North Star Bus Lines and American Student Transportation has been family owned and operated since 1963. Look for them online at schoolbus.jobs. My daughter, when she was little, every time she met somebody, that's what she wanted to be. So one of the first people she kind of met when she started going to school was her school bus driver. And she thought, oh, that'd be fun to be a school bus driver. Fortunately, she moved on. Not just various bus drivers. We love them. Yeah, I think <laughs> but, most uh, kids kind of <laughs> yeah. go through many ideas of what they may want to be until they reach the age where they make some decisions. But, no, they're very important and uh, very much definitely need more of them out there. Here we have the North Lakes Academy Charter School Marching Band. And they are based out of Forest Lake. Friendly neighbors, a uh, little ways to the north. Nice to have so many uh, marching bands this year. Yeah, I think we're up this year. Don't we just have like maybe three or four? But yeah. uh, well, I just think it's neat that yeah. so many of them do um, march and perform during the summer because oftentimes, I know back in my day make myself sound old um, you know we did maybe a couple of parades a year but it was generally like fall and spring we didn't really do any throughout the summer so I'm sure it's a great opportunity for students to uh, march and keep those music skills fresh not just music you obviously have uh, ones who are carrying flags and drum majors banners directors it takes a lot of people to assemble all of this as well as support staff right here at the end here that, that'd be good for me i can carry the water for yeah, there you go <laughs> and joe that's uh they're the last in our uh are they last i think they're last yes their parade wow. is uh is, is starting to wrap up that's a, a good one to end with always a popular one and, and joe what are you doing right after the parade here right after the parade are you going to the memorial beach for the uh, band? You know, I, I wasn't <laughs> aware of it until I got here, and I, I saw the sign for it as I passed by there. Yeah, oh, Free that, and that Easy is, is playing there. Okay. They have uh, beverages available for purchase, adult beverages. So uh, head down to Memorial Beach, West Park. It's on the uh, kind of the northwest side, just south of Ramsey County, White Bear Beach. And they uh, you can go down there. Perfect. Pay so a small fee. Very, very, very reasonable to see free and easy. Meet your neighbors, meet your friends. And it says there's food available as well as those beverages, and uh, that is probably my my first course of action is to get something to eat. What better place than to do that with my neighbors and maybe dance, show off my dancing skills that I was bragging about before. Yeah. So, um, 
we really appreciate you tuning in to watch uh, the 2024 Grand Day Parade, or the uh, Manitou Days Grand Parade here in downtown White Bear Lake. And Joe, it's been great to work with you. It's been great working with you again, Frank. And uh, we can't wait to bring you this parade again next year. And if you kind of caught this midway through and you want to see it again, you can go to scctv.org. You can check out schedules and get an idea when this will be rebroadcast again. And again, we appreciate all the crew at Suburban Community Channels for giving us this opportunity and for everyone involved with Manitou Days. So make sure you head on down, check out Manitou Days, check out Market Fest, all the great shops that downtown Wiper Lake has to offer. All right. Thank all right. you. Thanks so much. We'll see you next year.